Right over here, what do you look at this? We have a, a pair of two 1926 Ford Model T's. This one here, it's a four door, sort of like a suburban type of vehicle, so we'll call that a sedan. And the second one seems to be like, a, it's a four door, but it's like a, like a roadster, I guess. It's not really a roadster, but like a convertible, like a cabriolet. Let's do the walk around on this one right here. Right? It has the arrow plate on it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Great paint. Look at the paint. It's got a, it's got a shield for the uh, windshield. And no wiper. So, I don't know. That was a, probably an option back then. Got these very wide running boards. This Model T, I guess, would be the current equivalent of an Expedition or an Explorer. You know, look, it's got uh, three pedals on the floor. Let me show you. You see that three pedals on the floor down there, and then one of them is accelerator, and then one of them is to change gears or something like that. And then this right here, that lever would be the mechanical handbrake. So you grab that and then it has drum brakes and, but anyway, let's look at this here. Yeah. Interior is nice. I don't know what you're with these. Well, apparently. This car has been to Texas. So, you know, you can put these on the road. They just don't want you to put them on the interstate. They want you to use the U.S. highway system when you have a car this old. Unless you would modify this with, you know, functional taillights. He's got the triangle slow moving vehicle. Well, get the truck and next to it we have the we'll call this a convertible it's a four-door convertible so this would be a four-door sedan but it looks like a wagon but the way it is so this would be a four-door Convertible. Like I said, they're both 1926. Oh, wow. I don't know how these ride, though. I want to know how they ride. Because they really look sort of primitive. And just really... Guys are really decked out. Front my wheel. I can't hide the ones I. Oh man, this is, I said it's a very beautiful car. Look at this roof. I mean, it's like it's vinyl, but it's been restored and it's pristine. I mean, even the uh, the mechanical skeleton. All this has been painted and redone. So, apparently the top speed in these is 40, you know, just, just very incredible, man. Oh, this one's got an alternator in it, look at that. You know, it's got a, he's got his, I'll show you the engine and the other one, that one has the hood open. See, it came with a belt. Look at that. So this is what we call a flathead Ford. This one has a generator in it. The other one had an alternator. This one has a generator. It's a generator right there. I'll show you a generator right there. And 
flathead four. It's supposed to be relatively easy to repair. If you were a bicycle mechanic, you should be able to repair this engine. That's how they designed it back in those days. There's a pet cot here. Uh, I think that's a fuel to prime your. Uh, so. So we got 922, 1926 Ford Model T's. Got some mild modifications on them. You see the turn signals in the front under the headlights on both of them. So, but really beautiful cars.